New Pokemon Snap looks great, as always, and we've got new gameplay for it thanks to press getting a closed door look at it. But here's what we've learned, or just interesting things to note. If not 100% sure, it's very likely that every level will have a day and night element to it, where different Pokemon appear at day than night, and different activities, basically making it two levels for every one environment. And this beach level, by the way, is called Blushing Beach. Now, I also wanted to add to the tally of Pokemon, so add Corsola to that, as well as Marini. These were two Pokemon that have been revealed in the new gameplay, and I'll admit that I hadn't actually counted Octillery just yet. I do think it was in some screenshots from before. Also, I'm unclear about Trevenant, whether it had been revealed previously on the website, but it certainly wasn't obvious in any video trailers we've analyzed, so I can understand if it was just known through website screenshots. So if I add those four Pokemon to my tally that was 93 thus far from trailers and things, that's now 97 known Pokemon for sure. Again, that are obvious. Concrete. Here are the buttons button layouts where A snaps the picture, B is to throw a fluff fruit, Y is for an Illumina orb, and R is to play the Poke Flute. We've also learned that if you'd like to opt for it, you can use the Switch's gyro motion controls for the camera. Not really my preference, but maybe somebody out there. You can apparently have four photos of each Pokemon stored in the photo decks, since you can have one for the one star, two star, three star, and four star grades on your photos. Can I also just quickly mention as a photography minor in college? It upsets me that they're still sticking with the Pokemon needing to be like right in the center of the frame. I've always loved the rule of thirds and playing with that. They should totally let us use it. Speaking of all of that though, we can also confirm what might be obvious, but Professor Mirror won't be judging what is called the resnap mode or feature, like Instagram or Photoshop very light. You can make edits with filters and all sorts of things for your photos, stamps, but again, that's not what will be graded by the Professor. The Illumina phenomenon seems to respond differently by level. At at least from what we can see so far, in that Meganium had green all around it on that level, but here on the beach, this Illumina orb is red, and it seems to make the Pokemon here only glow with the red color. I had made mention of this on my first new Pokemon Snap analysis ever, where we saw Spring, Deerling, and Sawsbuck forms, and I wondered if we would see the other forms. Our screenshot from the official new Snap website with Trevenant actually does show that we can at least see Summer Sawsbuck in there, so the case gets stronger now for maybe having all of the forms. Small details but you can skip the 8 or 10 second intro part where you warp onto the rails for each level using the plus button as seen in the top right right here. 8 to 10 seconds is a guess from the gameplay that I've seen which certainly could be edited but probably at least a safe guess. And at least in the beginning or maybe just at this part of the game on Blushing Beach you start with 72 pictures. Who knows if you can upgrade to get more or something like that. And lastly I'll just mention there's also a sweeping scan feature that essentially shows the names of all of the Pokemon with in that scanned area when you send it out, along with whether they're male, female, or not. Aside from all of that, this game continues to look amazing. I can't imagine it'll be a letdown for someone like me who loves this sort of thing while also being hit by nostalgia of the first Pokemon Snap on 64. But please, let me know what you guys think in the comments, and I'll catch you on the next vid. And thanks for viewing.